Puerto Vallarta has quickly become Mexico's hottest gay destination. The gay scene is centered here in the Zona Romantica neighborhood on the southern end of the city. It's home to more than 20 gay bars and nightclubs. This is the most popular gay club in the city, Club Manana. It opened just last year, but has quickly drawn a crowd. And you'll find no shortage of gay or gay-friendly hotels here in Puerto Vallarta. The newest addition is the Abbey Hotel. It has 55 rooms and 13 suites. Many rooms have ocean views. The Hotel Mercurio has been around a while, but it has recently remodeled its pool area. Like the Abbey, it promotes itself as a gay and lesbian hotel. Its manager says that about 5% of its guests are gay women. The San Franciscan Resort and Gym is another great option. It has an upscale feel without upscale prices. It's gay, lesbian, and straight friendly. The La Tecora is the oldest gay hotel in the city, and it's also the city's only clothing option hotel. It's for men only. Activities, there's lots of activities to do, lots of things. You don't have enough of one week to do something different every day. And if you do, you don't have time for the beach. So you really have to, two weeks is about the good stay, for the first time anyway. Lots of bars to go to, lots of socializing going on. Then the Mexican culture is a soft, hospitable culture. They open their arms to you all the time, whether you speak Spanish or not. Casa Cupola is the city's most upscale gay resort. It's on a hill above Blue Chairs Beach. Most of its guests are gay men, but lesbians are welcome. The owners of the Blue Chairs Beach Resort lost their lease earlier this year, but they are looking to relocate to a new hotel. But the building is still being operated as the Gay Hotel, with a new name, the Blue Ocean Resort by the Sea. Puerto Vallarta's hottest new restaurant is the El Orion. It opened three years ago and is already a favorite among restaurant critics and the public. It's owned by Carmen Juarez. She's a gay woman from Mexico City. Uh, we'd like for people to, you know, sit back and relax and enjoy the company and the food and uh, just enjoy the Mexican music that we play all the time, you know, and, and maybe take a peek into the kitchen and uh, basically, you know, learn a little bit more about real Mexican food. Okay. The Mama Dolores restaurant features one of the owners who dresses up as his bitchy alter ego, Mama Dolores, in season on Friday nights. And now for the real mama. Hola. Welcome to Port Vallarta. So you're the real Mama Dolores? Absolutely. And this is your restaurant? It is. As it's I... Mama Dolores' diner. Olas Altas y Pulpito. And muy bueno, Puerto Vallarta. Can you do a little Mama Dolores for us? Out of, out of uh, costume? Oh, mama Dolores. Mama. I can absolutely do a little Mama Dolores for you out of costume. Have you paid your bill? Yes. <laughs> Get the fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> if you're in a hurry, you can't beat Choco Banana for a quick meal or its specialty, the chocolate banana, of course. You're gonna dream about it. <laughs> so this is a romantic song, all our room. So all the business are mostly gay. Restaurant bars, restaurant, uh, stores. Uh, we have masseuse business, and jewels, all the kind of resorts, condos. Other gay favorites include Dee's Coffee Company, Cody Soup, and the lesbian owned Apaches. And for more information, pick up a copy of Gay Guide Velarta when you get in town, or log on to its website, gayguidevelarta.com.